Come in. Hi, it's me. I'm really glad to see you. Thanks. I really needed to be with somebody tonight. And you're somebody who loved my father almost as much as I did. H.B. meant a lot to me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting this is your last two. Is there anybody else in your family that you ought to notify? I, I tried to call my sister, but she's probably in Europe or something. I can't locate her. You have a sister? I, I don't want to talk about that right now. Um... Why do these things happen to good men? Come here. Julia. There's something else. There's something else that we have to talk about. What could be worse than finding out that my father's dead? We have to talk about why he died, Julia. I know why he died. He died because he found out what those slime balls were up to. He died because he tried to keep Mr. Faison and Mr. Taub from doing what they were going to do. He wouldn't be a part of their plan. No. That isn't what happened. Don't tell me he was trying to protect me. He wasn't trying to protect anybody. There are a lot of things about your father that you don't know, Julia. Okay. What does that have to do with finding his killer? Everything. Unfortunately, it was because of the cartel that he was killed. But it wasn't because he wasn't cooperating with them. He was their partner, Julia. He was Taub and Faison's partner. He knew everything they were doing. He was in on everything they were doing. Basically, I guess it started with the, the so-called death of Edward Quartermain. Tracy Quartermain's father, the guy they just found out still alive? Quartermain and the ELQ cover were apparently very important to the cartel. <sighs> See, these guys had enough money, influence, resources, and, and, and just power to manufacture a toxic, potentially lethal gas, and they intended to market it. They wanted to just sell it to the highest bidder, whoever it was. Everyone at the Outback last night was supposed to die. To die. Miss Barrett, as a demonstration. My father didn't. He couldn't have known anything about that. I know it's hard for you to understand, but he did. Oh, he didn't. Why are you saying this? Because I, I, I was working with them, because I worked with him, with Tob, with Faison. I knew what they were doing, and I was also working on the other side. I was also working for Anna and, and, and Robert Scorpio. What? They recruited me in their operation to bust these guys because they knew my relationship with H.B. Yeah. Yeah, he loved you. He thought of you as a son. He was planning to market terror and mass destruction. My feelings didn't matter. No, he wasn't. What I've gotten into you. Look, if you knew about this plan, you could have gotten my father out of it, but you didn't. And now he's dead. Thank you. Dad, I'm home. Hey. Hello, son. Um, Greg's sister's waiting in the car. Can I have dinner over at their house? Oh, I think that'd be a great idea. Okay. Hi, Julia. Hi, Sly. Is everything okay? Hmm? Yeah, I hope it will be. Got it, Dad. Great. Try not to humiliate your host too much with that, will you? Greg's never gonna know what hit him. Okay. Bye, Julia. See you guys later. Hey, no hug? Big hug. Ah. All right. There you go. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye, Julia. Don't be late. Keep your feet off the furniture. Have I fun. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I understand the relationship between a father and his child. I know you do, so do I. 
You'd think that you would, after all you and Sly have been through. Julia, I know this has been a terrible shock. A shock. A shock. You, you watched me run all over town looking and looking and looking for my father. And the whole time, you knew. You knew he was dead. And not only that, I find out that you also, you probably could have prevented it. Yeah, I'd say that shock was maybe a little bit of an understatement. I had no choice. We all have choices. What would you have done in my place? Don't know, do I? I wasn't given that option. They're killers, Julia. Do you think that I enjoyed this? This, this, this lying? How long did you know? Halloween. The second time they arrested me was a cover. That night they asked me to join their operation. So, we, we went away. You made love to me. And you lied to me. You knew what is that all part of the lie too? No, no, please don't do that. Julia, no, you know how I feel about you. I don't know anything about you. I don't, I don't know what to believe anymore. Please, my feelings for you are true. You are a liar. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait, I'm wait! Hurt. You have to know all of it. You can't leave yet. I have to tell you everything. You have to know the rest. How much more could there be? You have to know how your father died. No, I don't. I don't think I want to know that right now. You have to! Okay. Fine. What happened? As an initiation into the cartel, there were a series of tests that I had to go through, a loyalty test. And after all that was over, after I had gotten the police documents and helped sway the ELQ vote, there was one final test, a test of loyalty before I could be admitted into the cartel. I was to kill Robert Scorpio. I don't believe this. What did that have to do with my father? I went to Scorpio and I told him of my assignment. We came up with a plan. We staged a drunk and then staggered out onto the docks where I was supposed to kill him. We figured I was being watched, so we tried to make it as realistic as possible. He wore a vest and I shot him with real bullets. Everything would have gone fine. Except we didn't figure on your father. My father was there. He'd been following us. As I was about to roll Scorpio's body into the river, he showed up. Your father was... Your father was a very thorough man. He pulled out a gun of his own. And he pointed it at Scorpio's head. And Robert shot him. Oh. No, not Robert. No. Julia. Oh, no. Julia. No. I had to. Because he was about to shoot a man point blank in the head. Oh God. He... No, you could have. You could have jumped him. You could have. You could have gotten the gun from him. You could. You could have shouted no. There was no other way. There was a million other ways. No, there was no other way. <laughs> Robert Scorpio was the commissioner of police. He could have disarmed him. There was no other way. God! How can you tell me that? You just 
away from me. Just stay away from me. You, you killed my father. Oh, my God, you killed my father. Don't you see? I could never forgive you for that. Don't you see? No. Don't you see? Stop it. Julia? Stop it! Robert shot him. No. <laughs> it wasn't Robert. No. I had to. I shot him, Julia. It was me. <laughs> Your father was a thorough man. He pulled a gun. Robert shot him. No. It wasn't Robert. No. I had to. I shot him, Julia. It was me. <laughs> Landry, Landry, I'm sorry. Is it you? I didn't sound like you. It's um, Julie. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just desperately need to speak to you tonight regarding William Eckert. Oh. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice, Ernie. As the company attorney, I'm here to oblige. And Julia, I'm very sorry about your father. He was a very good man. He was, wasn't he? Excuse me. Take your time. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine. Ernie, my father gave me the Port Charles subsidiary because he trusted me. He trusted my judgment completely. Oh, I remember how proud he was when he made you and Bill partners. Yeah. Well, a certain conflict of interest has come up between William and me. And I don't feel that he can run his half of the business up to my father's standards. What would you like me to do? I would like you to dissolve our partnership immediately. 